y'all? How y'all doing? This is Daniel with DLN Fitness once again. Today we are going to do no equipment workout. We are going to work on core and arms. You don't need any equipment. We're going to be mostly on the mat or mostly on the ground, whatever you have that will suit you. And we're going to get a whole lot of workout in with just our core and our arms. So get ready and let's get this workout in. Let's go. Okay, so first workout we're gonna do, we're gonna do uh, push-ups. So we're gonna do a minute, each exercise that we do, it's gonna be one minute long. So let's go ahead and get started. Starting out with push-ups, get down, and go. Take your time on these. If you're not able to do push-ups this way, feel free to get on your knees like this. Doing this way, or well, like this, either way is okay. Just make sure that you can last the entire minute. When you're tired, take a little break. In the meantime, we're gonna keep going to that one minute marker. there. All right. On your back. Better go for crunches. Ready? Go. Slowly, remember one minute each exercise. You gotta go for two rounds each workout. Just hang in there, we're just getting started. Remember to breathe, control your breathing. All right, I'm gonna stay on our back and then we're gonna do the heel touches. So just stay like this and you just touch your heel, side to side. Try to keep your shoulders off the ground. Try not to be all the way back like this, where you're just doing this, because that's not helping nothing. Keep your shoulders up and move side to side as you touch each heel, or a sock, or a shoe, or whatever you got on. Remember to breathe, take your time, All right, I'm gonna go on our side. I'm gonna do a side plank. So turn sideways, whichever way you wanna turn. Up like this, and then your hip, and hold. Breathe in, breathe out. If it feels like it's too much. Take a short break, then get right back into it. All right. 
right. Now we're gonna switch sides. Plank on the other side. Get right to it. Up, hands on your hip and hold. position like this I'm gonna raise my knees like this too much. I think I might have just did that, so don't feel bad if it happens to you. Breathe. push-ups again. Alright, ready? And go. Remember, if you're too hard, on your knees like this, do your push-ups like this, or take a break, right over, keep moving.
Try to look straight up. Try not to bend your head too much when you come up. Actually over halfway finished. All right, stay on your back. And then we're going to continue on with heel touches. And go. Remember, when you're doing this, keep your shoulders off the ground. Keep your shoulders off the ground. Breathe in, breathe out. If you need to take a break, take a break. But only for about five seconds at the most. And just get right back into it. And that burn is where you get the most out of your workout. So just try to feel the burn for the short period of time that we're doing these exercises. And then once you're done, you'll be done. So go through the pain. All right. That's good. Now turn to your side, and we're going for a plank. So side plank, doesn't matter what side, because we're going to move both anyway. So pick a side and get the plank, and hold. Remember to breathe. If you're working up a sweat, then good, because I am. Feel it all in here, all in your obliques. Almost there, hang in there. All right, go down, switch sides. All right, do the other side, turn, and go. Breathe in and out. Breathe is very important. Try not to focus too hard on the workout. You gotta close your eyes and take yourself to somewhere else. Let it help you get through the pain if you're feeling it. And just breathe. Because we're almost there. We're probably about 75, 80% of the way done. So hang tough. Crab position, like this, and raise up our legs. Try to keep your hips up, don't let them sag down like this. Because then it's like, you know, benefit. Try to keep up like this and go up. Keep your hips high. Try to bring them all the way back. All the way back. All the way back. Yeah. Almost there, y'all. We got this. Alright, down and lay on our backs. 
all the way and do some flutter kicks. Hand up under your butt and go. Touch the ground like I did. Almost there. All right. Bonus round. So come up. What we're gonna do on this one. All right, two more minutes in the bonus round. I right, you tired. And keep it simple. So up like this. I'm gonna do Russian twists. You can do them like this with your feet up, side to side. Or put your feet down on the ground and just turn left to right. Whichever one you may feel, don't matter. Keep them up, put them on the ground. Either or, just keep twisting. Like this, but we keep them bent. Don't have them like this. Don't do this. This is, this is not going to do you no benefit. Either bent like this or up in the air. Try not to take any breaks if you can. I know plates will be pretty hard. So if you need to take a break, five seconds, no, no more than five seconds, get back into it. This is the very end of it. After this, we'll be good to go. We all done. Just hang in there. 15 seconds left. Breathe. Breathe, breathe, breathe. All right, time on that. All right, just finished the core and arms workout. Hopefully you got a burn. Clearly I did, drenched in sweat. So if you like that routine, give it a shot at least once a day or once every other day to kind of incorporate them with other workouts at home, no equipment. Hope you felt it because I did. Until next time, peace.